back with another video today. Hope you guys are doing good. In this video, I'll be talking about Sundell Grower Stock, ticker symbol SNDL. I'll be giving you guys some key levels. I'm looking to play this stock tomorrow. So buying levels where I'm looking to buy, I'll actually be giving you guys two buying levels, one bullish, one bearish. I'll explain those. Resistance levels where I'm looking to sell and support levels where I'm looking for price to hold. So make sure you guys smash that like button. Let's get the video over 100 likes. Subscribe. Trying to get to 20,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Now, like I said, I'll be talking about Sundell Grower Stock. Ticker symbol SNDL. Ticker symbol SNDL. Now, we've been having some pullback ever since after the earnings, right? Had his earnings, had that pump up. Kind of did a V-shape right here. Pull back and a little kind of just trading sideways uh, today, okay? But this movement right here kind of led me to see a buying level. So I'll be giving you guys two. So I'll give you guys the levels first and then I'll explain how they can be active. Now, also make sure you check out the videos for this one. I have about three videos up. One on Robin Hood stock, very, very key on a play that I did today and a future play I'm looking for tomorrow, okay? Big profits on that one. One on GGPI and also another video on um, Naked Brand and Prog, okay? So on SNDL, we have two levels we need to look at. This level that I'm gonna give you guys first is the bullish side. So uh, let me just give you guys the levels first and then I'll explain how they can be active. So this is the first one, 87 for the bullish side and bearish side, I'm gonna do around 70, 74. So I'll, I'll like a little deeper pullback for that 74 mark. 74 will turn that green. So these are the two buying levels right now. Okay. Just know if we enter here, I'll be exiting right around 80. We don't need too much of a move to profit on this one since it is a penny stock. So just make sure you watch your risk management as well. So around 80. And then if we enter around this 87, I think we could take this up to around like 93, 94. We'll take the 94. Okay. Now, listen closely to how these levels will be active. For the bullish side, for 87 cents to be active, you want price to pass 87 and come back down to that area, okay? This is active if price passes it tomorrow, okay? Very simple. For the bearish side, this is active if this does not pass tomorrow and we have a pullback, okay? So basically, this level right here would tell you a lot. If it passes this, we're trading we're trying to look at the 87 level for buying pressure and then exiting at the 94. Or if this doesn't trade here and you see pullback tomorrow, we're looking at that 74 cent area and then exiting at 80. Okay. So if we get that buying pressure confirmation at 74 to 80, that's about an 8% return. I will go a little heavier around that 74 cent return. So an 8% will kind of equal my normal profit that I usually get. So I will be okay with that. Also, make sure you join the Buy and Sell Signals group, okay? We have a chat room in there where we talk in the markets every day. You can ask me questions on any stock, and I'll confirm levels for you guys as well, okay? Make sure you join the Buy and Sell Signals. Link in the description, pin in the comments. Make sure you use code OWILAPTC. And also, you can use code WILL50 off to get $50 off the stock market options crash course, okay? And then if we buy $0.87, cents, we get that buying pressure confirmation. Looking to exit around 94 Now, the difference with this one is, at this 94 I will sell half. I will sell half of the position, okay? I will sell the other half at a dollar. Okay, so I have two exits for when I buy 87. That's something that I wanted to put. So first exit will be around 8%, and then the second exit will be around 15%, okay? I just want to make sure we lock in some profits before we start getting up into areas we haven't been at in months, right? We haven't been this high since like July. So once we start getting up in those areas, we need to be a little more cautious, start taking our profits, but I think we'll be good to go. These are the main levels I'm looking for right now on SNDL, Sunday Grower Stock. It looks confusing, but just replay the video back. I explained them good, okay? The main thing we'll be looking at right now is this level, okay? So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to check out the Will Knowledge Crypto channel. If you guys are into crypto, I'll leave a comment down below with the channel so you can just click it and check out the videos and subscribe over there. And always remember, no recommendation to buy or sell anything. This is for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. And I catch you guys in the next one. Bye.